Everything that I'm doing now is for my community. Giving everyone the tools that I can share into their lives. If you are passionate about something, you can do anything. And to be able to give back and help others, that's what it's all about. Up until this point, softball has been my everything. But there was a moment that I almost left sport completely. That was just a defining moment where I was like, I'm not going with the flow anymore. We don't need to do that anymore. So what is my choice from here on out? My identity as a softball player is something that'll never leave me, but I'm not gonna let it define me. I started playing softball when I was around six years old. I was initially playing t-ball because my family is a big baseball family. My papa was an umpire. He played baseball his whole life, but I was terrible at t-ball. I would be chasing butterflies in the outfield. I'd be running the bases in the wrong direction. So softball was more of a, a good fit for me when I switched over. Quality pitch, another strikeout for Dung. After high school, I went on to play in college. And after my time was done there, I got the call and was drafted to the USA Pro Leagues. In Hawaii, there wasn't access to a lot of different training opportunities. I started at such a young age that it was me, my dad, and my mom just figuring it out together. I would go to the park and just watch some of the older generation girls pitching. I would copy exactly what they were doing. I was definitely someone who was working against the odds, but it goes to show that if you put in the hard work and you have a supportive community around you, then you can turn into the 1%. Softball, it's a game of perfectionism, it's a game of failure, and it's a game of coming back from that failure. People call it the game of inches. If I miss a pitch half an inch to the left or half an inch to the right, that could result in us losing an entire softball game. As a pitcher, all eyes are on you. Your team is relying on you to lead them in physical, but also mental game. I'm very passionate. And I think that's just a, a hidden way of saying that I'm extremely competitive. <laughs> my family was one of my major driving factors. Throughout all of our struggles financially, they were just some of the driving forces to keep me going in the right direction. When I was two years into my time at college, I got a phone call in the middle of the night that my mom had a stroke and the odds were that she was likely gonna pass away. I didn't know what to do and I was really numb and just distraught. Luckily, she made it out of the situation, but in the moment, I remember just thinking to myself, if that's what life looks like when you've sacrificed everything for your kid and have done so much good, what am I gonna do during my short time here that isn't promised that will change everything? Nice, way better, good. As time winds down for most professional athletes, a, more. a lot of people can find themselves in a limbo of wondering what the next move is. Now that I'm back home, one thing that I'm extremely passionate about is to find the next generation of athletes who need that opportunity that I got. If I can help even one athlete to move forward in their journey, then I can make a big difference in the long run. My number is 99 when I play. I play for the 99% because that was me. Someone who was too small, was underestimated, and 
someone who shouldn't have made it, made it to the top 1%. Playing for the 99 all comes back to helping young girls here in Hawaii and helping them to see their potential and use sport to find their why. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>